Uh, I'd be remiss not to ask about uh, Nate's big swing there. I guess what, what what was the tension like and how big of a shot was that for you all just in terms of clearing the bases and getting the getting the lead back? Yeah, it was huge. Um, I mean, it was at bat after at bat. Everyone was locked in, trying to do their job, um, find a way on, and he got a pitch to, to drive to left center, and he didn't miss it. So it was big. We'll go to Bishop. Hey, Dylan. Uh, you began the baseball season in the midst of a limited capacity stadium. Since, you know, Tech has increased its fan numbers and capacity, how excited are you to see more fans in the stands? Yeah, it's a good, it's a good deal. Um, uh, every player's been waiting for it, every coach. Um, still going to go out there and play our game. But, yeah, of course, we love playing in front of our fans. I um, hope we get as, as many as we can pack in there this weekend. So. We're back to Carlos. Dylan, you already spoke about it, but just in terms of the, the back and forth nature, did this feel like one of those weekend Big 12 games and how important was it for you all to kind of get a victory like this? Yeah, it was a good game. Um, we didn't hit as well as, as we wanted to, but that's uh, part of it. Our pitchers kept us in the game. Uh, one big hit kept us in the game. And um, I mean, we'll go out there and try to jump on them early. Uh, we need to start hitting the starters better, but um, yeah, it was, it was a fun game, close game, um, and we we pulled it off. So, yeah, it was pretty exciting. All right, we're going to go to uh, Keith. Hey, Dylan, uh, of course you want to hit. That's what you're talking about. I wanted to hit a little bit better. You go up there in the seventh and work a walk, which you end up coming around to score. Just talk to us a little bit about the approach in that, you know, going up and, and doing that. Yeah, I was looking for a fastball um, pretty much the whole at bat. Um, he threw me two good change-ups. One I took low and in, and then one I swung at low and in. Um, so once I got to two strikes, I I mean, my, I was just locked in, just like everybody else that inning. Uh, I wasn't going to allow him to beat me with the fastball. Um, and obviously, just fight off any other pitches that I can't drive. And uh, fortunately, fortunately I, I didn't get a pitch to hit. And I took them, so I drew a walk, and I, I was—I told Jay Bob before uh, I was scoring no matter what. So from first, open next to David. Uh, Dylan, can you talk about uh, Girton getting out of that jam in the in the eighth inning? It, I mean, I, I know all these are your guys and everything, but. Do you like a freshman that's as fiery as he seems to be uh, coming off the mound uh, every outing, it seems like? Oh, yeah. I love that. Uh, we all love that, um, especially from freshmen, showing that they love to compete. They go out there and, and do it what they're capable of. Um, they rolled uh, three freshmen out, I think, today. And I don't think they did bad, um, but there's some things that they could have done a little better, um, locate. And, but – yeah, we trust our freshmen. We know they they'll get fired up, and we know it's what they have, and they love to compete just like us. So, All right, time for maybe one or two more for Dylan. Uh, we've got Keith. Go ahead, Keith. Yeah, Dylan. I hate to keep asking about other guys, but uh, you've been around and you've made a lot of athletic plays over your time as a Red Raider. So, what can you say about Cal Conley and kind of what he's doing in the field right now? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's what's expected. Um, he, he's just very good defensively. I don't think anyone is, is shocked about any of the plays he's making. He's, he's very athletic um, and just an all-around good ball player. So, I mean, he's doing what, what he does. Micah, did this game feel like one of those Big 12 weekend uh, games? And uh, just how important was it for you all to get a victory in, in a game like this where it's back and forth and you guys get, get a victory at the end? Yeah, this game definitely felt like one of those um, Big 12 Friday night fighting games. Um, the environment, the fans showed out um, for a Tuesday game, which was awesome. Um, and, uh, you know, got to give it to Gonzaga. They fought really hard, stayed in the game. And, uh, but we were just, uh, we were having some fun out there. And those are the ball games you love to win. Or did I not take your hand down? 
sorry, I'm typing on deadline. You're, you're good. Uh, does anybody have any other questions for Micah? Okay, go ahead, David. Yeah, Micah, uh, how do you think you, uh, you handled tonight's outing? Uh, um, I thought I handled it pretty well. It was, um, I'm getting better as each outing goes out. My velo was there. My, um, just, um, I was throwing the ball where I wanted to throw. And, uh, like I said earlier, got to give it to Gonzaga. They did a great job at two strike hitting. Um, so I kind of had to change my game plan a little bit to, um, to, uh, you know, cater to that. Um, they battled up there, but, uh, you know, I had, I had some great defense behind me that, uh, saved the game for sure. Go ahead, Carlos. Micah, can you just speak to what Brandon was able to do in those late innings where he was in a little bit of a bind, but he was able to really kind of show that maybe he's not a freshman anymore, kind of early on this season? Yeah, that was absolutely awesome to watch, especially, um, you know, because he is a freshman. But his his composure up there is something that, you know, you see in a junior or senior. And uh, even when things didn't go right, he, he stayed focused. He kept going pitch to pitch. Just like I like uh, what I like to say is, it's just you and Brax up there, no one else. And so, um, you know, that's what he did. And uh, Braxton caught the ball really well back there, but he did he did a fantastic job for the situation he was put in. Larry guy on the mound, that's part of your game, bringing that emotion to the table. So what does it do for you and that intensity when you've got guys behind you flashing leather and making big plays and we're putting stars in books and, and they're not only backing you up, but they raise that intensity level too? Yeah, it's just a lot of fun, especially when we're having fun out there. Um, they did a fantastic job saving the run, saving the game, honestly. Um, noisy and center. Um, you know, you have Kurt over there at third making, you know, these plays. And just everyone just did what they were supposed to do. And so when we all come together and, and the ball game's moving like that, it's just even more fun because, you know, it, it turns into a real team team effort. And uh, we can feed off of that. And that, I honestly think that um, carries over into the offense. And so, yeah, it's just – it's honestly a lot of fun just to be able to be myself up there. Coach, I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you about the big swing from Nate in the in the late innings. I guess what what, what were you kind of telling him to kind of look at for the pitch and how how big of it was was it for y'all to get that bases clearing uh, double there? Yeah, as a big swing, um, really by the time he gets to the plate, there's not much you can tell him. I mean, to get a good pitch to hit and. Put a good swing on it, um, and he did that. I mean, it was a big swing. It's fun to watch him. It's a big moment for him. Hey, Coach. I asked Dylan this earlier. Just how does it feel seeing more fans in the stands as uh, the capacity is growing for uh, stadium attendance? It's a lot of fun. Uh, best fans in the country right here in Lubbock, Texas. And we love our fans. We love sharing our team with our fans. And our guys love playing for them. And uh, we're looking forward to it, uh, I guess, tomorrow when the whole state opens, right? We, we can pack the place. All right, we'll go next to David. Coach, another big moment. Uh, Brennan able to bounce back from that walk. Uh, is he is he pat we kind of asked Micah about this a moment ago is he past being a freshman at this point he seems pretty composed to be able to bounce back from that and certainly has a lot of fire in him yeah he does I thought he threw the ball really well on Sunday and uh, just didn't really get the results he wanted and sub came in and picked him up and um, today he did the same for Levi and um, and that's what the game's about picking each other up and um, really just like that, you know, he just, uh, he, he's a very aggressive kid and just doesn't back off. Okay, we'll go next to Keith. Coach, obviously some highlight reel kind of plays going on and, you know, all over the field and Cal Conley especially, but they're in the, uh, in the seventh with the, the crazy double play and the, you know, kind of two rundowns and all that going on. Is that a team coming together or is that just good reactive defensive play? Oh, I think it's uh, maybe a little bit of both. Um, thought as a 
really good recognition by Levi that the guy was going to be going to stay out of the double play, um, even though the runner had started. And uh, so I don't know that he knew the runner was started, but he wasn't getting a double play the other way. And uh, so you kind of need to go to home at that point with it. And then um, Jace made a really good play, you know, recognizing that the guy was, you know, trying to get an extra 90 feet on the back end of the rundown. Okay, we'll go to Bishop. Um, speaking of Jace, you know, he's named the uh, Big 12 Player of the Week yesterday, and then he comes in in his first at bat, he hits a home run. Uh, what have you really seen out of him this season that's led to uh, such improvements? Um, he's a year older. Um, he prepares the right way. He embraces every at bat. He tries to not give too many away. Um, all these guys are still amateurs, and they might give a few away, but um, he's – tell you what he's pretty mature in his approach about how he goes about his work each day and um you know he, he spends a lot of time in the cage and and uh he just he's a guy who really likes playing baseball okay time for just a couple more we'll go to carlos coach i asked mike of this but it, it is early but did this kind of feel like one of those Friday night, Big 12 games, and how important is it for you all to kind of have something like this in your back pocket? Although you have had some big games in at neutral sites early, but just to have a, a type of game like this under your belt where you know that you can kind of pull pull out a game like this. Well, I thought, I mean, I thought Micah needed to be vintage Micah, and I thought he was. I thought he was very good, very competitive, and um, – and that's a result from how good their guy was. We knew their guy was going to be good going in. Uh, different type of guy. And uh, tip your hat to him. He was he was uh, really good. Kid threw a little over 100 pitches and uh, really kept it close. And uh, I thought both guys went at it and uh, really competed well. 